All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a project that it's a uh, Philharmonic Hall in Szczecin in Poland. Uh, it's uh, designed by Barocci Vega Architects. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right. So we would go over the principles that I would use to model this uh, building and how you can approach it. So we will start by drawing the lines uh, from the side views and then we will try to uh, connect both sides uh, using the extrusion and then at the end once we have the geometry we will uh, just uh, create these uh, vertical and horizontal bars as well and uh, I'm gonna use these sections there is south facade and I think one more west facade yeah so I'm gonna use these two facades to to model the whole building so for now I'm just going to import these guys into the uh, let's go front front view and I'm going to import also uh, the south facade I'm gonna import into the right and now let's actually align align them uh, so before I do this I actually let me show you a cool trick that you can do uh, for example if you want to get rid of these some of these um, areas that you don't need you can actually cut them out so for example let's say that we just need uh, like from this point to this point we don't need anything else so we can just draw this rectangle and then we can say let's trim it and we select that curve and we delete all the rest you see so now you just have this this uh, surface uh, that's only our uh, that's only our building which is quite cool so uh, now I'm gonna do the same for this one and then uh, we're going to continue so in this case I'm gonna start from this spot here and let's say something around here and let's use the trim again and that's it so now uh, what we want to do is we actually want to uh, make sure that they are the same size and same scale so as you can see they're not here so let's go and use scale tool select this dot and this dot and bring it up so now they're the same scale and okay so we know that this one is uh, on the side so let's rotate it back and let's bring it also in this direction okay so now I'm gonna go over the images just, just to make sure I'm on the right track so so this side is actually this side and this big side is going here so I'm not, not rotating it and let's bring it up like so so this should be this should be it um, for some reason the, these parts are not matching but I'm actually not sure why what's the reason for that okay so so this is this side so maybe their drawings are not correct i don't know but obviously here it looks that everything is fine so let's just pretend everything is fine and uh, i'm just going to simply see now if uh if this is going to work so let's see if this is this line here what we're gonna get if we extrude it here okay so it's pretty so I'm gonna okay so what I'm gonna do here is just I'm gonna extend this just a little bit down like this okay so let's see now it's fine 
So once I have this ready, um, I'm going to basically draw on top of this. I'm going to draw these lines. First, I'm going to uh, actually change the transparency here of both of these so that I can see what I'm doing. And I will do the same for this guy. And let's log them and let's start drawing. So I'll, I'll just uh, basically draw on top of these lines here. And then we will use these lines to extrude these geometries and uh, get the shapes that that we see here. So I'll just speed up the video now and uh, show you the uh, the result once once I have all these lines. Okay, so once I have the lines uh, drawn out, I'm going to simply use curve boolean, and I'm gonna boolean in all these, all these guys. I'm gonna do every second one first, and then I'm gonna use uh, the rest as well to get the. So as you can see now, I have the closed curves, and I'm gonna use the same type of of a trick to do the the rest. And now I have all the closed curves. So now I will say select closed curves and I will say show me the inversion, the lead inversion. And now we just have the closed curves left. So uh, once this is done, uh, I will move to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. All right, so once I have all these uh, curves drawn out, I'm going to um, I'm going to create I'm going to start draw uh, to start creating the the 3D geometry. So first, let's actually extend these as well to have the same the same height. Uh, so we're gonna use Z axis and. Uh, let's connect these guys together. Okay, so let's do the unlock and let's delete these ones. So now we have overall look of um, our side views. So the trick that I would use here to create all of this is because we don't have enough information to know uh, what's going on behind and what's going on the, on the top. There is no views from the top. So we can just estimate on like what is the inclination and based on these images we're gonna we're gonna approximately create create a geometry and create these extrusions here as well. So um I'm going just to, to compare the image and now uh let's let's start. So I can see that this one is actually uh a little bit moved inside like this. And this guy we can actually extrude inward. And let's cap it. Uh, this one is staying in the same position. So what we can do here is uh, we can extrude it like this. And we can see cap here. And then we use this other one to extrude it on this side as well. And then we can say uh, give me boolean split of these two guys and 
and just get this guy. So it's a very cool trick. And uh, now we're gonna now we're gonna continue with with the other ones. Okay, so I'm not going to actually go and create a whole the whole building because I don't have the information, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna just stick to these two sides, and now I'm gonna show you some tricks on how you can uh, create these openings and how you can create these windows and uh, and uh, paneling on the facade, so. Let's just bring this guys to the correct positions and or actually yeah we can just say select curve and we don't need anything else except these openings. I can delete them. So now um, in order to create windows and doors uh, what you can do is basically just uh, move these guys in like this and then you can just say boolean difference and you have the opening there quite cool um, or you can say let me just see or you can say you can cap this and you can move it back in and do boolean difference again and now it's now it's full so let's do the same here followed like minus 15 and boolean difference okay so this one is actually went too far minus 0 15 boolean difference and let's do the same thing for all of them I'm gonna say 0 0.15 and I'm going to say boolean difference for all of them to get this result. So now I'm just going to show you uh, another another small thing uh, on how to create these uh, this, uh, vertical lines and how to you can implement them on the facade. So the easiest thing would be to actually Let's isolate only these panels. So I'm going to say extract surfaces. Okay, so once we have these surfaces ready, we can isolate them. So once, once we have these uh, extrusions ready. Okay, so a very cool command that we can use here is called contour. So we're going to select all of this and type contour. Select this place and this place and say 0 0.05 and as you can see I'm getting these lines automatically here I don't need to copy them which is quite cool so we're gonna do the same thing uh, for this side as well so let me just unhide all of these guys and let's do the same process let's just uh, extract those surfaces And now I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna isolate it like this. And I'm gonna say again, contour. This is the base point. And this is second point. Now let's press. So as you can see, this is quite useful if you, if you want to create something like this, if you need uh, these lines for some reason. And now we're, we're going to simply uh, use those lines. For example, let's, let's uh, actually uh, group them so that we don't lose them. 
select curve isolate and now I just want to select all these curves on this side group them and this one on this side and group them so uh, another way that we can we can uh, like get this uh, get these extrusions is by using just a simple uh, extrusion command here and once I get this I can actually say okay select extrusions and I get all of them and what I want to do now is do a simple small offset so I'm gonna say offset surface offset surface both sides 0 0.01 and there you go. So I have my extrusions here. Quite useful. So we're just gonna do the same thing here on this side. I'm gonna say extrude here, something like this. I'm gonna say select extrusions and I'm gonna say offset surface. I'm gonna say both sides here and the distance will be the same. And there you go. We quickly created these uh, these extrusions that are here on the project. So I'm just going going to quickly create this now here on this side as well and these other sides, and we're going <coughs> we're going to render this, and I'm going to show you the final result. So this is the final rendering. This is how the, the image turned out. And once again, thank you for for watching these tutorials. And if you know uh, anybody who studies architecture who can benefit from these, please uh, forward them to this channel and uh, of course subscribe and share. Uh, in addition, I would like to say that uh, uh, if, you're, uh, if you just stumbled upon these videos, uh, there is a link in the description below where you can actually join How to Rhino community and there you will get uh, the access to our Facebook group and uh, Facebook uh, uh, page and also get access to a special set of emails that I'm sending out uh, that will help you a lot with uh, your architecture or school. There are things like uh, free 3D models, free plugins, some of the websites that I'm using to get uh, the best results. So I just wanted to mention that if you want to have some special tutorial uh, regarding some some uh, projects please uh, comment in, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, I'll see what I can do to create those tutorials as well.